I'm gonna, I got a little fun rendition. What's that? Of King of the Hill. Oh, oh. give me the music. Give me the music here. Yes, I love it. I love it. So we usually do the top eight players in the or the top eight teams in the Western Conference. Okay. Right out of Warriors or whatever. But Loveman threw a fun <laughs> idea at me. Loveman goes, Loveman goes, you know what? You should do the most hated players. All time? For Warrior fans. Or current. Not all time, for current. Current. Current, current Ooh, players. Ooh, I like this. Most hated players. I like this. And so we're going to go top seven. Top seven this week. And so number seven... Give me the number seven. Number seven. Most hated players at Warrior. Most hated Kevin Warrior. Kevin Durant. No, not Kevin Durant. Well, this is number seven. Yeah, it is number Sorry. seven. Well, now well, it's 35. It, now it's 35 again. So the opposing Mickey players. Mantle. Times it. Players we just John can't stand. Elway. We just can't stand them. Number seven is Kyrie Irving. Warrior fans, and I think it has more to do with Game 7 2016. Because when Kyrie Irving comes this to town, low. we fear him. Kyrie Irving is low. You think he's low? I, I think this is low. But keep going. It's your right, list. Right. It's your list. Kyrie Irving. You guys can chime in on this. Yes. Kyrie Irving, number seven. Wow. I mean, who who could be the top six of Kyrie seven? Number six, Trey Young. Because I think a lot of Trae people. Trey Young over Kyrie? A lot of people get ticked off when uh, they say, well, Trey Young at the stage of his career was better than Steph. And he tried to be a Steph I mean, imitator. And that? he's shooting threes. And, oh, he's a better passer at the stage. And. People can't stand. This is my list. This okay, is my list. Okay. So Trey Young, I got Trey Young at number six. I'm shocked already. Keep going. Number, number five, five, James Harden. Who will see it at night? What? He's low, right? Very, very low. James Harden. We couldn't stand him, but we haven't seen him in the playoffs. Yeah. So we may never see him in the playoffs ever again unless it happened in the NBA Finals. So I have James Harden at number five. All those years with the Houston Rockets. Remember, I should have won the MVP. If it's not fair with Steph, they changed the criteria. I'm better than Giannis. All he does is run and jump. Blah, 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 blah. James Harden, number five. Number four. Number four. Maybe a little low, but it's CP3. Gosh. We can't stand this guy. God. He's an irritant. We can't stand him. Eric Gordon on somebody's list. That's funny. Chris Paul. I mean, it, enough said, right? CP3, Lob City. Steph ended him. And what did Steph say a couple weeks ball? ago? This ain't 2014 no more. We ain't in 2014 no more. Chris I, Paul, we still cannot a lot stand him. A lot of point him. guards on this list. A lot Keep of point going. guards. All right. Number three. Number three. Luka Doncic. I, I think this is a Good. This is good. I mean, we just did the show the other day. People can't stand Luca. Cannot stand him. Luca Doncic, please. Number three on the list. Number two. Number two. LeBron James. Warrior fans can't stand him. We. I know you love him. Cannot stand him no more. Why do you say I love? Him? I used to be Team LeBron too. Trust me. I used to love LeBron James. His hair cannot somehow is thicker now than ever. It's and he's with the Lakers and the way he. There's been performance talk. enhancements done on that hair. No, there's no doubt about that. LeBron James, number two. I can't. I, Warrior fans hate him. I hate him. All right. Number one is obvious, right? Number one. It's Dylan the villain. Dylan Brooks. Come on. He thinks he owns real estate in the minds of Warrior. Oh, the Warriors. I would take. I own real estate in San Francisco, is what he said last Saturday. Yeah, well, I mean, he's, he, he must, talks about, I want Clay he Thompson. Must be broke. Remember Chris, before Christmas? Yeah, I got Clay Thompson. He's been talking a lot. I got Clay. And Clay cooked them on Christmas Day. Said he wants the Warriors in the playoffs. He broke GP2's elbow in the Western Conference semifinal. He broke the code. Dylan the villain, number one on my list. So number seven, Kyrie. Number six, Trey Young. Number five, James Harden. Number four, Chris Paul. Number three, Luka. Number two, LeBron. Number one, Dylan the villain. Can I suggest, and we can have a, just a conversation about two others, Marcus Smart? Yeah, but he got cooked in the finals. We don't care. Yeah, about but he crashes team. into people. Yeah, he did. I mean, a lot of people thought he hurt Steph Curry. And then can I throw another one at you? Yeah. Who, uh, this is my personal, like, he's way higher than Trey Young on my list. Kyle Lowry. Can't stand Kyle Lowry. I like Kyle Lowry because when he's on the floor, he can't guard Steph. A last one, Danny Green. Because of the clay injury. I'm, and a lot of other things. Dela yeah. Vadova at a time. People would Dela have Vadova him. at a time. They Tristan Thompson at a, at a time. time. But not now. Not but now. I, uh, Danny Green. Uh, Kawhi Leonard on that list at all? No. No, I, I, hate, I we, respect. Yeah, I like Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, I respect. He's low maintenance, doesn't say anything. And he, he calls, dude. Zach Collins on that <laughs> He's list? He's a Terminator. <laughs> no, because Zach Collins is done. And then I mean, nobody. That's no, why nobody. I, Trey, okay, the only one I have a problem with is Trey Young. Young. All right. I just don't That's see fair. it. That's fair. 
I just heard a lot of people try to, you know, catapult him on the list. And, oh, man, he's surprised there's not an Steph. official on there. I would have put maybe, I don't know, oh, well, Tony I've, Brothers. Well, we would be going to 15. Mark Davis, Tony Brothers, a.k.a. Catfish. <laughs> Gucci Man, a.k.a. James Williams, so, uh, Scott Foster, Zach Zarba, Natalie Sago. Can I stand Natalie Sago? She's not a good ref whatsoever. So uh, Tom Haberstro, who also works for Metal Arc. Was, Does he now? Yeah. He's jumped around. Everybody's on Metal he's been, Arc. He's been, set, he's been set hopping. Yes, agreed. So Tom Haberstro said that he's heard from executives across the league. I don't know what that means, but I'm just, I'm just telling you what he said. The officiating is so bad and so horrible <laughs> Every single team around the league is fed up with the officials, and they are going to have some sort of come to Jesus moment with the uh, with the commissioner this off season. Something is going to change. I don't know what that means. I don't know how they even go about doing that. But he is. It's like I know this has been a warrior talking point throughout the year. This is not just the Warriors. Every team in the league is furious with officiating. Wow. It's 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 it doesn't reached, surprise it, me. It, re, it it's doesn't reached, surprise uh, me. We're at an inflection point. No, uh, and you said it in terms of the playoffs. You just wait oh, until we, the first round. We've seen nothing yet. Yeah, we've seen nothing yet. And you didn't bring up my favorite ref, who actually is my least favorite ref, Emiloy. Oh, Emiloy. Yeah, Emiloy. Emiloy's bad. He's the worst. No, <laughs> we might need to play that in its Dude, entirety. The fact, I have never hated an, an official that, more than Emiloy. The fact that people know who Natalie Sago is. Is a problem. It's a problem. What were you saying, Spadoni? I was just going to say, Ed Molloy's haircut is the most egregious part of him. He it is comes bad. flying across the court, 75 feet away. It's not his call right. at all. No. Through hundreds of pounds of bodies, and he'll no, make the call, Molloy! and then he'll stand there, and then like arrogantly just like shake his head, like Nah, right. Nah, right. you did that. Let me let me pull up. Let me pull up the referee assignments. Let's see who's out there tonight. Can we find Let's the see. original full clip of the Ed Molloy? Oh. Thing? Oh, you guys are in for a treat Who today. Who is it tonight? The crew chief for tonight's game. Who is between it? Between the Philadelphia 76ers Mark and the Davis. Golden State Warriors. Drum roll, please. Mark Davis. Drum roll. Give it to me, Spadoni. <laughs> Tony Brothers is your crew chief tonight. <laughs> Jason Goble, number 68. You oh, know yeah, I know Goble. him. I know him. And then JT Orr. I don't think I know him. This game may last three hours. <laughs> This is going to pee. Oh, my God. Catfish is in the building. Uh, oh, this is going to be bad. And this is what I'm talking about. The fact that we know, like, we probably know what a dozen, like, the casual NBA fan knows what, dozen, half Scott a dozen Foster. officials? Yeah, we know Cor Courtney Kirkland, Eric Lewis, John Goble, I mean, James Williams, a.k.a. Gucci Who's Man, Mark Earl Davis. Hebner of the, remember Earl Hebner, the uh, WWE official? Oh, yeah. Who's the Earl Hebner right now? I don't know. Like, when I saw Earl, I knew it was big-time pay-per-view right. event. Yeah. Well, Scott Foster. My favorite was when Earl would get, like, Stone Cold stunned. He'd sell it harder than sell anyone. Sell it. Oh, dude, he's Earl the Hebner, best. Earl Hebner, legend. He's the, he he's the best. He might be my favorite official ever. But it, that's the problem. All these guys get finals games. Tony Brothers will get a finals game. Scott Foster <laughs> will get a finals game. What is that Did call? they have the Mark Davis game? How do they even determine this? Do they, like, pull it out of a hat? And, like, they give the call to Mark Davis, like, yo. We're calling you up. Like, yeah! Dude. He rips off his, his tearaway pants like he's coming off the bench, coming I, in. I will say Gucci Man's not a bad ref, a.k.a. James Williams. You know who I'm talking about. He looks just like about. Gucci. Yeah. He comes in, he's got the cut, and they're calling him Gucci. Hey, Gucci, come on, man! Uh... But Tony Brothers, he I watch him walk out the tunnel okay. before a game. He walks out, and he's got the jacket up, and he's just mean bucking. And I watched him the last game. What game was that? I don't know. It was a few weeks ago at Chase Center. Jordan Poole, oh, it's the Austin Rivers, Minnesota game, the Sunday. Austin Rivers sold the phantom elbow that Jordan Poole threw. And Poole's like, what? And Tony Brothers walked on the court and looked at Jordan Poole. The <laughs> what even watching the action? He was staring at Jordan Poole, <laughs> waiting for Jordan Poole to pop off. And you best believe he got a technical out of that. Here's the Ed Malloy. This is the Atlanta Hawks game, I believe. Mavericks, uh, T-Wolves. T Mavericks, T-Wolves. All right, play this. This is the full Ed Malloy sound, my favorite of all time. Oh, okay. On the love on the left side. And foul. There was none called. Rubio off to love. Oh, that's a foul! <laughs> <laughs> Love moved to his left on Merriam. Sean had his hand out. He went right across the arm of Love. That is unbelievable. The referees are booed as they go off the floor. <laughs> Brutal! David Guthrie is right there. 
He didn't have the guts to call it. Also, <laughs> go ahead, Malloy! The ball comes in the arms of Dalabear. The horn sounds and the ball game is over. The Timberwolves are screaming for a... You cannot tell me that that is not an all-time soundbite. That, that is unbelievable. Is that an all-time soundbite? Didn't have the guts to call it the best <laughs> part. Dave Vince. Oh, my gosh, dude. I'm telling you, man. Oh. You guys have seen nothing yet. Oh, oh you know what? 559. Five, Russell Westbrook over Trey Young. Yeah, that's probably a good one. That's probably a good one. I probably left under Trey Young on the list. Russell Westbrook's good, but I, I got love for Russell Westbrook now. I everybody's feel bad for Russ. Yeah, everybody's beating him up. Now he's playing well with the Clippers.